guys and welcome back to another video with angel b designs if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um what i'm gonna do today is i am going to be showing you guys how i make this distressed sublimated cotton t-shirt okay so this pink t-shirt is a 100 percent cotton bella canvas shirt and this part of the shirt is sublimation okay it's distressed it's cute um and it's sublimated and it's cotton and we're gonna do it today okay i made two of them the one i have on and then i also made this one which says um black girl magic this one i'm gonna have to play around a little bit with the um with these little things because i made so i made a mistake on this one um so I might have to either cut these a little bit more or play around with it, but this one is also sublimated. Um, so yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing today. So if you wanna learn how to make this distressed sublimated cotton t-shirt, stick around, cause we're about to get into it. Okay guys, so I'm here at my craft table and I just want to kind of quickly go over the materials I'll be using. So the shirts that I'm going to use are the, um, the Bella Canvas t-shirts. I got these from Michaels, um, but I'm going to be using the Bella Canvas t-shirts. Um, I have two of them. I'm going to be using, this is the poly, the polyester that's going to go, let me turn my lamp down. This is the polyester that I'm going to be putting on the back of the shirt and you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's, I got this from Walmart. It's a four yard um, piece of fabric. The poly count is uh, 65 polyester, 35% cotton. So we should still get a pretty vibrant image with this. Um, but this is going to be the fabric that I'm using. Like I said, I just went and picked it up from Walmart. And then the adhesive tape I'm going to be using to adhere the fabric to the shirt is going to be this um, Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. It's an iron-on adhesive. I also got this from Walmart as well. And then a rotary cutter or fabric, scissors, whatever you have. Okay. So those are the materials that I'm going to be using. Okay, so yeah, those are my materials. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I have already printed out the images I'll be using and I have them kind of sitting over here underneath the heat press to get the, you know, ink to kind of solidify. Um, so I've already printed out my images, same way I always print them out. I use Silhouette Studio just to print the images that large. That's it. First thing we're going to do is prep our fabric. Okay, so the images that I printed out are, um, uh, I believe they are uh, 10 by 12. I'm going to grab one and measure it just to make sure before I cut. Um, I did not need this much, this much fabric. Now I'm going to have to make a bunch of shirts. Um, okay. So let me grab the image so I can measure it. And then let me trim off some of this excess here. If you guys hear a noisy background, um, I am at my office and they are doing work on the, um, the suite next door. So. I apologize if you hear any noise. Okay. So I'm just going to measure this out. And I'm going to cut it on my pink cutting mat here. I'm just putting the image on the paper. And I'm going to take my rotary blade and I'm just going to cut a piece to go around it. Okay. Now, you know, granted, this piece might be a little big, but that's okay. 
it's going on the inside of the shirt so if I want to trim around the edges after I press it I can come on now this piece of fabric doesn't want to cut off okay so here's our first piece of fabric here Okay, so this is the first piece of fabric we're going to press this image onto. Now, I have two of them, so let me do the same thing for the other one. Like I said, I bought way more fabric than I needed, so... Okay, so I am just continuing on cutting off this piece of fabric. And like I said, all you're going to do, you're just going to line it up. And you're going to take your rotary blade or your scissors, whatever you have. And you're just going to cut a piece. Okay. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so now we have both of our pieces of fabric. I'm just gonna set this off to the side. And then we are going to come on over here to the heat press and we're going to press those pieces of fabric. All right, so the first thing I want to do is get some butcher paper. Obviously, we want to line our mat. Actually, this piece might be too small. Oops, yeah, that's too small. Let's try that again. to take our fabric and we're going to lay this down um and then I'm just going to take some scissors and I'm just going to cut off any little hangy pieces I got or frayed pieces just to make sure that they don't you know burn or anything like that okay that should be good. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the pink one first. So this is, well, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to go ahead and press this image onto our piece of fabric here. I'm just going to place it down. I'm going to take another piece of butcher paper. I'm going to go ahead and cover it. And then we are going to press this for 60 seconds. At, I'm, at, I'm at 385 degrees okay so I'm going to press both these pieces of fabric and I'll come back when I'm finished alright you guys so I'm back here and I have both of my um, pieces of fabric pressed here this is the black girl magic piece of fabric so even with it only being 65% polyester the colors still came out really really vibrant um there's that one and then here's this one okay so like i said both still came out really really vibrant even though it's only 65 percent polyester so the next thing we are going to do is go ahead and cut up our shirt okay <sighs> and the way we're going to do that if you guys saw my bleach videos, I'm going to take this t-shirt form. I have the adult size. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was $2 at $1.99. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it inside of the shirt so that when I cut my shirt with the rotary blade, I don't cut through to the back because I don't want to cut through to the back. Okay. So we're just going to put this t-shirt form 
on the inside of the shirt. I think you can get these from Walmart. You can get them from Hobby Lobby. You can order them if you want. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. It was $2. Okay. So we have it lined up on our shirt. Now we want to make sure it's lined up nice so that we can really get a clear like where we're going to cut at okay so this is this is about where the image is going to be on the shirt so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my rotary blade after i have it lined up on my shirt and i'm going to cut the shirt along the top but i'm not going to go all the way edge to edge just because when you cut them it's going to spread out a little bit and see, I didn't press not hard enough because I'm scared. So it didn't even cut. So let me do that again. There we go. But I don't want to cut through. Hold on, did I cut through it? No, I didn't cut through it. Okay. I was scared I cut through it. Okay. So there's our first cut right there. And if you want it to kind of be jagged, like you want the jagged look, absolutely go for it. Now I'm going to cut down here at the bottom. Okay. So that's going to make sure that it's, you know, perfectly lined up the way we need it to be. Or it's the length, right? We have the right length. Now what I'm going to do, at the top and the bottom, I'm just going to go in between here and make cuts to match. So we have it going all the way down. like I said it doesn't have to be perfect little lines you know you can make them ragged or not ragged but you know jagged you can shred them however you want it to look if you want it to be more distressed less distressed it's really your preference so I'm just going through now and cutting it making sure it's and kind of stretching them out a little bit so that I have it the way that I like it. And this is why I said don't cut all the way to the very end. Because you're going to stretch these out. So that it has, like I said, that distressed look. Okay. So, now see we have the first one. Now your image is going to go in between there. And you can like kind of pull these and stretch them out and distress them how you want okay make sense hopefully it does i'm gonna go do the other shirt i'm gonna come back when i have both of them cut up all right you guys so i'm back here i have both of my shirts cut in the front okay so what we're going to do now is you are going to turn the shirt inside out all right and you are going to place it on your heat press okay now we're going to take our piece of fabric and you're going to place it down we're going to tape this and and basically like heat press the tape you can use an iron you can use your easy press I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna turn my heat press off because you don't need a whole lot of heat to do this. Because like I said, you can use your um, your home iron. So I don't need my heat press to be like blazing hot. Uh, just trying to get this piece of tape off. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get a pair of scissors here. This is going to go along the outside of the shirt. Okay, let me bring you guys in so you can see. The tape is going to go along the outside of the pieces that you cut around the border, not inside. I don't know why I feel like this one is a lot bigger than the other one, but this tape is going to go along the outside of the um, the, the square that we made, right? The, I'm sorry, the rectangle that we made for the image to sit. This is how you're going to get it to stick to the shirt. I'm sorry if you guys hear all that noise in the background. Okay, but it's gonna go along the outside parameter of the shirt. And then the last piece up here at the top. outside perimeter of the shirt of the, the rectangle that we cut okay then you're gonna take your piece of fabric you're gonna place it face down onto onto the tape Oh my gosh, they are being so loud. Wow. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure this piece is on here on this piece of fabric. Oh Yeah, I think I cut this one too short, but that's okay. I mean, I cut it too long. Okay, then I'm going to take a piece of butcher paper and I'm going to put it on top. Don't have to do it long at all, just a couple of seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Open it back up. And now it should be stuck to your shirt. Okay, so I'm going to turn it. The right way. Let me see. And for this one, I probably could have used like a darker image, but Now you would just kind of take it and, you know, stretch them out, make it fit so that you can 
really see the image. Okay? Y'all see that? That's so cute. Yeah, so for this one down here at the bottom, I cut it too too far down. You see? It's kind of like a hole right here. So I cut the shirt too far down. I'm going to go ahead and do the other shirt. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys what that one looks like. Alright guys, so I'm back here and here is the pink one. Um, And then... You know, like I said, you would just kind of stretch these out so you can kind of see the image more. Isn't that so cute? I did the same thing with this one. Okay, so I would say because you're going to stretch, uh, stretch them out, what I would say is to... Um, this last cut, make it a little bit higher. So this last cut here should have been higher up here, okay? So make your last cut a little bit higher. All right, but that is all I have for this video, guys. And you know what I'm gonna do for this shirt? Here, let me show you. Just because I want to like distress it a little bit more, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my, my rotary blade and I'm just gonna go and like distress it, you know, make like little intentional slits like on the arms, like that, you know, so the shirt has like more slits, like intentional cuts, you see? Like this, kind of distress it more, a little bit. So this shirt looks you know what I'm saying? More distressed. I hope that makes sense. But you see, I kind of added the, um, and I'm going to go through and do like the whole shirt. But you see the little extra slits through it. So I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense with the extra slits, the extra distressing, right? All right. Well, that's all I have left. I'm, just, I'm sorry. That's all I have for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys on the next one. Bye.